How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of, uh, yeah, still water up in this piece in the form of Love and Regret 2020. Yeah, this is a Saison Ale with Dandelion, Chamomile, and Lavender. And a 7.2% beer, so you're talking about very light flavors. Lavender can get quite aggressive and very sensitive to it, so if I don't get it, that's, that would be weird. Um, but in a Saison Ale, so a big beer but with uh, gentle ingredients. So yeah, we'll see what's what. Pop the sucker in there. Uh, this comes courtesy of my boy Oak Ridge, right? You gave me this one, right? It gotta be, it gotta be. Might have been Steven, I don't know. I fucking figured I'd write shit on stuff, but I suck. Anyway, um, I really like the art on this. I mean, it's kind of like what a Picasso-y kind of surrealism kind of creepiness with crazy faces and a knife and shit like that it's kind of what 2020 is and in, in a way just kind of a red hot green nightmare um not something you would think about when it comes to love but definitely regrets <sighs> what does that look like that looks exactly what peach juice uh not peach juice pear juice looks like uh if you ever juice like a nice kind of pear that's exactly the color you get off of it you know pet a quarter of a pinky finger of neither a creamy nor fluffy nor rocky head. It's kind of a neutral head with this soft kind of fresh squeeze kind of pear juice kind of vibes and color. Let's get a nose. I mean, it smells like a really, really neutral soft season. Um, you know, there's really not much there as far as huge peppery notes or anything like that. Maybe a dollop, a little white pepper. I do get a little bit of that lavender in there. Outside of that, what is it? Uh, dandelions and what else? Chamomile. Um, there's a little tea-like kind of vibe to it, like a like a chamomile green tea kind of thing going on. But that could come from yeast. That could come from hops. So might be a little bit of power suggestion going on. It smells really nice, but it smells more like five and a half percent rather than seven point two percent. I like the fact that the lavender's not over the top, but she smells fun. She smells really nice. Doesn't smell tart at all. I expect it to be tart for some reason. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. I don't know why it's 7.2%, but it's pretty good. Um, I mean, man, this reminds me of something. What is this drink like? I've had the Saison before. Not this one, but something very similar to this. But it didn't have all these ingredients in it. Man, it tastes so familiar. So, you're getting a soft kind of um, orchard fruit vibe from this. Kind of that skin, that uh, musty um, kind of uh, yeastiness on a skin from a freshly picked kind of peach kind of orchardiness on there. That's one of my favorite kind of... Uh, flavors uh, that I get from uh, Saison's, ones that are done like this. That little bit of white pepper is a little bit more readily apparent, not over the top, but definitely in there. There's this cool sweetness to it, too. And that's that, I guess that's that 7% coming through. Where it kind of lets you, reminds you of a little bit of like, kind of like a non sugar added, under ripened kind of fruit juiciness. I'm getting. Not aggressive, but a rounded, full kind of bitterness on this that is probably equal parts tea and equal parts hops. That lavender is probably my favorite portion of the show. Lavender to me is like, how do I put it? Lavender has to be at a specific level in order for me to really enjoy it. And how do I know this? Because my wife loves lavender and she, you know, she makes these little lavender things you throw in your car, your house or whatever, these little bat pocket sewn bag things that, that like, it kind of like an air freshener with lavender. Fresh, those are too much for me. Old, they're just not even there anymore. But there's this like, cause they last for a really long time, um, months, you know, almost. But there's only like a two day stretch where it's like perfect and I'm like, oh, I like that smell. It's a little too aggressive most of the time. I get two days of awesomeness and then I'm like, eh, I can kind of smell, but not really. That's the way the lavender comes off in here. So personally myself, this is uber niche, just me talking, unless somebody out there is exactly like me when it comes to lavender. Um, it, it, it's probably one of my favorite uses of that in a beer um, because of how light it is, but not too light to where you don't detect it. Uh, if this is, let's put it this way. 
I usually get on my soapbox. This should be five percent. I think this is five percent. That lavender is a little bit too big. This is delicious. This is absolutely delicious. I'm actually, I'm actually actively trying to talk shit on it. My brain going, "What don't you like about this beer? There's got to be something you don't like about it. I don't know why I'm doing that." And there's nothing I don't like about it. It's give me those peach vibes. It's give me those orchard vibes. It's give me those Saison vibes. It doesn't drink hot, but it drinks big enough. There's a nice sweetness to it, but it's not over the top. The lavender is really cool. The bitterness is awesome. It's multi-layered, so that's why I think it's coming from both hops and tea. There you go. I found some reason to shot. It doesn't taste like dandelions. There you go. That's me joking, because that doesn't really matter all that much. Anyway, um, yeah, I like this. I think this is absolutely fantastic. You know, that's it. Review's over. You can go home now. Uh, so let's talk about it. It's one of the better seasons I've had. I was like, yes. Is it Mount Rushmore status? Probably not. There's ones that I put ahead of this, but it wants to be there. Uh, value and availability. Still water stuff I can get readily available by me. I've never seen this one. I'm guessing 7%. All the ingredients that went into this is probably pushing 20 bucks a four pack and leave you with, if you like what will you like this beer? If you like season, if you like season, non-tart, non-sour kind of season, you like subtleness, prettiness. There's the word. And gentleness. Sure, it's a 7.2% beer, but it's very delicate. So if you like your saisons, pretty delicate, but at the same time, showy enough to be, uh, I don't know. Get you all hot and bothered. I'll throw hot and bothered out there. So do you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our review down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of a still water right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.